right, you guys. So we're going to talk about my 2020 extra income finals. And this is based off of my W-2s. Okay, so this is as good as it gets. So for Kohl's, we made $1,568.04. And remember, I still work with Kohl's, but I started working with them back in, I think it was November um, of 2020. So I was just, you know, being hired on a seasonal and yeah, this is how much I made. Now, Amazon, this is um, the prior to me working for Amazon Prime Now or Prime Now. I used to work in a delivery warehouse and my requirements was only to work at least one shift per month to stay active. So I kind of did that most of the time. Sometimes I would do more or do more. But um I made $2,137.52. And really quick, with Kohl's, I make $10 an hour. With Amazon, um, I make $15 an hour. Okay. Now, um, I was there until July. And then in August, I got hired on with Prime Now. And that's where I still work at. And I really enjoy both of my jobs, extra income jobs. Now with Prime Now, the pay base pay is still $15 an hour. But sometimes you may get surge pay. So you can get like an extra 3 or $5 an hour. It's just as a, they just use that as an incentive to, um, you know, get people to work. Um, so yeah, I made $1,459.37. Next up, we have YouTube, which I am shocked that's my highest paying one, to be honest. <laughs> um, which is a total of $2,321.63. Now with YouTube, of course, it does fluctuate. I will say already starting off this year, it's on the low end already, but that's okay. It's I'm I don't you do YouTube for making money. I just use it to share in hopes that I help somebody. I know personally I cannot help out everybody financially um cuz I'm just a giving person, but I figure hey, I can at least share what I do in hopes that it does help somebody along their financial journey. Um so yeah, this is how much I made. And of course, I share more than just finances. I share everyday life. We talk about depression. We just talk about life in general, you know, being a parent. We talk about cooking, cooking on a budget, all of that. So yeah, if you're interested in knowing how much I get paid, because with Kohl's and Prime now, I get paid weekly. So, yeah, I always update you guys on Thursdays in regards to that. Um, so, if you're wanting to know how much I make, I always update you. And then for YouTube, we um, auto we get to know how much we're making as of the 11th. So, on the 11th of every month, I always share how much I am bringing in from YouTube. So, if that's something you're interested in, I do monthly videos i'm very transparent in regards to my income especially with my um extra income i'm very transparent with my main income source as well um but yeah i just wanted to share this with you uh so all together for extra income for 2020 i made seven thousand four hundred eighty three eighty six dollars and fifty six cents now i will say I don't know. I don't know if I was, I thought it would probably be a little bit more because of the amount of money that I did save up. Um, you figured, uh, or figure when I ended 2020, I forgot how much we were saved up at. I think we were saved up at like $20,000. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I feel I feel like this year I will actually bring in more. We shall see. I don't know because I'm not doing anything extra. But, of course, I do have Kohl's now, whereas I didn't have that for the whole year. Um, YouTube, I was gaining money from YouTube all 
of 2020. But let me know, what were what are your thoughts? Did you think I would have made more or less? I mean, I feel like any amount is a good amount. And once again, these are things that I'm not working towards saving towards anything, um, especially with the jobs. I just use these as a form of me getting out the house. And this is just an extra benefit. YouTube, once again, I don't do it for the money. I just use it to share and it's been a pleasure. It's very been a, it's been a very good experience. Um, I will continue to post um, and what right now for February. All right. And so right now for February, um, we're just doing a financial February. I'm uploading a video in regards to my um, second paycheck. Of course, I don't know what the amount will be yet, but I know what my bills will be. Um, so I'm going to be uploading that and letting you guys know how much I've spent extra. Because this time I did use my credit card for some purchases. For January, I feel like we did very well. I will finalize or do a, a video that will finalize um, how we did for the July, uh, sorry, January Cook at Home Challenge. I feel like we did very, very well. Um... But yeah, I do want to update you on my income taxes. Um, so I think that's going to be very interesting. I'm still just waiting. I think I'm waiting on some documents. I have never, you know, had stocks before and withdrew. So I don't know if there's like a certain increment that you have to be at to even be eligible to get tax documents. I don't know. So I'm just going to wait until hopefully Monday of next week and see if anything updates. And if not, I think I'm just going to file because I don't know when those documents will be available. Um, but yeah, do I have any goals? I do. I did mention that I do have some goals in regards to my extra income. I mentioned that I do want to make at least 250 per week. So that's 1000 per month. So all together... My goal is to make at least $12,000 extra, right, um, for the year. Now, if I don't make it, that's fine. That's okay. But that's just a goal for myself. Um, and I will say that we're getting really close uh, to our $30,000 <laughs> being saved. Or our additional fifteen thousand being saved. I don't know which one, because I mean, fifteen thousand and thirty thousand. I did a challenge before where I did the first fifteen thousand. I saved that up, and then starting in November of twenty twenty, I was like, Candace, let's do another challenge. So let's do another fifteen thousand, and I basically gave myself fourteen months. So I was going to give myself until um the end of this year so december of 2021 but i think we're going to meet that before then so i have to come up with some more goals um and i think i may have some i just gotta you know write them down and you know finalize them kind of i guess not finalize but you know just write them down um i'm very excited for what this year will bring i know my mood um uh, is not off to a good start but you know what can you do what can you do i'm alive so and i'm breathing and i'm healthy um so i can't complain but yeah i just wanted to share this with you i know dimples on demand she did hers so i thought i would share yes i don't do gig work but extra income is extra income i view that like i know i can't personally do income um uh, gig work because of my anxiety not knowing what i'm getting into you know when i go to somebody's door i just don't want to deal with any of that so i use kohl's and amazon as my way of you know getting out the house and being able to bring in extra income uh, so yeah i will talk to you guys soon and um let me know did you guys make any extra income um in 2020 if so what did you guys do to earn it I'm very interested. So, yeah. Do you have any goals for 2021? Let me know about that as well. So, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.